Welcome to my next tutorial on object-oriented programming in Python. Today I will discuss four different concepts that are method overriding, method overloading, polymorphism and duct typing. Let's start first with method overriding. Method overriding is the ability of a class to change the implementation of methods provided by one of its parent classes. Let's first see a very simple example of inheritance. In this example, I have two classes, class father and class son. Class father contains two methods, print first name and print last name. Son is an empty class, but it inherits all the properties of class father. In main, I have created an object of class son. In next two lines, I am calling both print first name and print last name methods on my son class object. So if you have basic understanding of inheritance, then there is nothing to explain in this example. Now the method overriding occurs when you define a method of parent class with same name in the child class. In my next example, I have created a new method print first name in my child class. Now when I call print first name method on any child class object, Python invokes the print first name method of child class and not of father class. So this was a very simple example of method overriding in Python. Overriding is the ability of a class to change the implementation of a method provided by one of its ancestors. Similarly, you can also overwrite functions, constructors, arithmetic and logical operators. I will cover operator overloading in my next tutorial, in which I cover special methods in Python which start and end with double underscores. Now let's move to method overloading. In a nutshell, Python doesn't allow method overloading because Python is dynamically typed language and therefore method overloading like in C++ or Java is redundant. Let's see a very simple example of method overloading where Python gives you an error message. In this example, I have two methods which have same name but different number of arguments. If you know Java or C++, you will find nothing wrong with this code. Whereas in Python, you can only call the latest implementation of add method. So if you call add method with three arguments, you will get addition of all three arguments as a result. But if you try to call add method with two arguments, Python will give you an type error message, even though we have add method that takes two arguments. This is because if you have two or more methods of same name, Python only understands the latest implementation of that method. Similarly, Python also checks the type of object passed as argument. And unlike in C++ or Java, we don't have to give the argument type. Now if you change the order of both methods, you can only call add method with two arguments. In Python, if you want to have a method which takes variable number of arguments, you can use the arguments or keyword arguments as parameters, as shown in the next example. So in a nutshell, Python doesn't support method overloading like in C++ or Java, because Python is dynamically typed language and method overloading is already there. Now let's move to polymorphism and duct typing. Polymorphism is one of the most important concepts in object-oriented programming. And we can say that in Python, it is one of the built-in features and therefore the word polymorphism is rarely used in Python. So what exactly is polymorphism? The term polymorphism means many forms or many shapes. So polymorphism is the ability to take many forms or shapes. If you have understood the method overriding, then there is nothing more to know to understand polymorphism in Python. Now let's see a very simple example of polymorphism in Python. In this example, I have class father, which contains an initializer method and two methods say name and say age. The class son and class daughter are two child classes of class father, and both son and daughter inherit all the properties of class father. But in both son and daughter classes, I overwrite say name method. Now in main, I have created three different objects. Object 1, which is an instance of class father. Object 2, which is an instance of class son and I initialize it by calling initialize the method of class father and similarly the object 3 which is an instance of class daughter. Then I'm calling say name and say age methods on each object. If you see the output you can see three different implementations of say name method have been invoked. So this was a very simple example of polymorphism. Let's see an example of built-in polymorphism in Python that is the plus operator in Python. In this example, I have two objects of class and teacher, and I add them together using plus operator. The output is again an integer value. 
Now I have two objects of class string and I add them together using plus operator. In this case, the plus operator concatenate both strings and give a new string as output. So the same operation results in different behaviors depending on the type of data it is given. But Python provides something more than polymorphism, which is also known as duck typing. The name duck typing comes from an old quote attributed to the poet J.W. Raleigh. That is when I see a bird that walks like a duck and swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, I call that bird a duck. So in Python, if an object walks like a duck, swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, you can treat that object as a duck and you don't need to explicitly declare it to be a duck. Let's see a very simple example to understand duck typing. Now in this example, I have created new class stranger, which also contains two methods, say name and say age. But the class stranger has no relationship with other three classes. Now in main, I have created four objects of each class. And in main, I have another function, which takes an object as argument and calls the function say name and say age. This function duck typing, you can name it as you like, doesn't care about the type of object passed as argument until I can call say name and say age methods on that object. If you know Java or C++, this is not possible and you have to declare the type of argument. So if I pass an instance of class father, son, daughter or stranger, everything works fine. But if I pass an integer object as an argument, Python returns an error because the built-in class integer doesn't have say name and say age methods. So duck typing is a form of polymorphism where functions operate on any object that implements the appropriate methods, regardless of their classes or explicit interface declaration. I hope now you have basic understanding of method overriding, method overloading, polymorphism and duck typing. Thank you for watching my tutorials and please subscribe my channel for future tutorials.